What's up guys, James here with Fun Fact of the Day. Hope you guys are having a great day, learning lots, and getting stuff done. Today, we are here to talk about an interesting disease called lupus. Now, you might have heard about this in the news recently because Kim Kardashian tested positive for it yesterday. So, I figured I didn't really know what lupus is. Maybe I'd spend a few hours researching it and bring the answers to you. So, that's what we're gonna do here today. We're gonna talk about it and figure out what it is what it means, what the treatments are, what the symptoms are, and everything there is to know about lupus. Of course, kind of dumbed down for the regular person because, man, it's a complicated disease. So let's start with what it is. It is an autoimmune disease, which means that all of the little immune system cells that normally fight off bad bacteria and diseases and viruses have decided that your body is the enemy. They, you are the virus, which means it's going to attack you. Now, there are a whole bunch of different autoimmune diseases, and they all present differently. Now, you might be thinking, back in school, I learned that AIDS and HIV were autoimmune diseases. Does that mean that Kim Kardashian tested positive for one of those? No, not really, and I'm going to wait until the end of this video to tell you what the differences are. That way, you can fully understand what lupus is before we talk about any of that. So, let's get into it. First of all, there are two different types of lupus. The first type, which I'll put a name down here so that you can read it because it's hard to pronounce, it only attacks the skin generally. So usually it presents with a skin rash and maybe a low fever. It's a very mild version of lupus. The second version of lupus, the one that most people hear about, is, I'll put another name down here, usually much more severe because not only does it attack your skin, it also attacks the blood vessels inside your body, specifically in your kidneys, the ones that filter out toxins. I'll put a link to a video all about kidneys filtering out toxins right here and down in the description. Anyway, it also attacks your joints, which can be very painful, as you can imagine, if your joints were being eaten away by your body. So needless to say, it is a very uncomfortable disease. Symptoms for this usually include things like blood in your urine, that's because of the kidneys being eaten away by the disease. High blood pressure is another extremely common symptom because it's attacking all of your blood vessels. They swell up, they get inflamed, and then the blood has a harder time moving through them, which then causes even other complications, such as things called edema, which is basically when your ankles and your legs and your feet swell up with extra fluid that your body was unable to get rid of because of the high blood pressure. And then on top of that, you can experience full body weight gain just from extra fluid, actual water weight. And aside from all of those, you get a lot of day-to-day -day symptoms, things like low fevers, fatigue, joint pain especially, that's an extremely common one, and skin rashes, specifically a skin rash that looks like a butterfly on the front of your face. I'll put a picture of it right here so you can see what I'm talking about. It's an interesting skin rash, but very unfortunate nonetheless. You also get skin rashes all over, it's not just there. and. Everybody presents the symptoms in different ways and at different times. They tend to come and go a lot, so it's tough to treat, it's tough to diagnose because it looks like 10,000 other diseases. Now, speaking of treatment, what are the treatment options for something like this? Now, let me start with, I'm not a doctor, all right? This is all just from a whole bunch of doctorly websites on the internet that I studied for a few hours before making this video. Now, with that said, usually treatment includes a combination of immunodepressant medications, which they basically depress your immune system so that it will stop attacking you. And that way, you won't have all of these symptoms because you don't have as much of an immune system to attack yourself with. And the second thing that they usually do is use corticosteroids, which are a type of drug that usually reduces swelling which is caused when this thing is attacking all of your blood vessels and your joints and your skin. So then on top of that, they usually recommend that you lower the amount of salt in your diet to then of course lower your blood pressure just that little bit extra 
And because your skin is so sensitive from being attacked by your own immune system, they recommend that you wear a lot of sunscreen and long sleeve shirts and hats and stuff like that to protect yourself from the sun. And that is the basic summary of lupus. Now that you understand what lupus is, I'm going to do a quick compare and contrast with AIDS and HIV, because the few people that I talked to about this before I made this video brought it up and I wanted to make sure that everybody knew what the differences were. Now, AIDS and HIV, contrary to popular belief, in and of themselves are not actually autoimmune diseases. They are what are called immunodeficiencies. Specifically what happens is the HIV virus itself comes into your body and attacks your immune system. All of the T cells, those cells that kill bad bacteria and diseases, they kill them, which then leads you to have a much, much, much weaker immune system, hence the term immunodeficiency. Your immune system is deficient. That, in turn, leaves your body open to a bunch of autoimmune diseases coming in and taking over, things like lupus, as well as a whole myriad of other autoimmune diseases that attack all different parts of your body. And so that is where the danger comes in and why everybody seems to think that AIDS and HIV are an autoimmune disease. But in fact, as you now know, they are different. If you enjoyed this video, or you learned something new, or you just like me, please subscribe. I put out new videos just like this every single day. And if you'd like to see any of those new videos, I'll have a link for them right here. Leave a like down below. It really helps me out. It helps with the YouTube algorithm pushing my videos into other people's subscription boxes and recommended lists so that the channel can grow and I can eventually start to make some more money on this. That's all for me today. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you tomorrow.